Well, hey everybody, it's Buddy. Um, I did kite today. I'm gonna tell you like it is. Uh, I'm rusty. I gotta get my legs back under me before I start doing the GoPro or trying to videotape from out there. Because when you're out there and you're actually starting back after being off for a while, now I own my own kite. I got a Cabrina. It's the latest, greatest model. It's got the uh, fireball system. I already packed it. I'm not going to feature, you know, I'm not going to try to make kiteboard videos while I'm trying to get my legs back under me. Safety is all important. So when I go out, I want to be safe. Um, I want to get that feeling back. It seems like for me, and I don't know, it's just that maybe it's a mental thing because once I got going out last time, which was two years ago, I was able to go upwind a whole lot easier than I am now but it's like riding a bicycle I got to get back in it and feel it once I get the feeling right I got some cool ways to mount my GoPro and um, one of them is I could actually mount it to the kite be way up in the air looking down the other way is I can mount it to my wrist I've got a, a band that will go on my wrist and it will pivot and look where I'm going and look at me and then I've got a way to put it on the strings of the kite so it'd be out in front of me about 15 feet looking back at me. I got a bar clamp and I can clamp it on the bar. That seemed to work last time I... But you know, I actually didn't even videotape until I learned last time, two years ago. It's been two years since I've been to Jamaica. So to make a long story short, what I'm doing is I'm giving myself plenty of time to get acclimated for all the safety benefits and safety reasons when I'm not having to worry about videoing or even trying to do Strava with you know I actually was way out there and didn't even cut my watch on until I realized I had everything set but that and it really doesn't have a kiteboard setting um, I need to read the instructions and uh, watch some video about this I got a beautiful watch Garmin Phoenix uh, 5x it should be where I can take a nap and put it on there that other people have already made and generated about kiteboarding and in one screen I can see all my data I can see how far I've gone how you know in, in miles and I can see how fast mile per hour average but I'm not even about that until I get really comfortable and can do it safely kiteboarding is really safe but you got to know your safety rules. You got to know your limitations. You got to know how to rescue yourself. You got to know how to self launch and uh, self land. You got to be independent, but you also need people on the beach watching you. But once I get good, I will feel free enough to start doing the GoPro. So I want to say to all the new subscribers, I know who you are. I, I, I actually subscribing back to your channel. Even if you don't have but three subscribers, I'm subscribing back. Now I'm trying to keep up with that every two days or every three days, but I'm starting to get a lot of subscribers. I'm grateful. I am blessed and I got much favor. And I want to extend that to you, you guys. Thank you. I really, really appreciate people watching my videos. It's actually the way that I'm, I'm starting to be able to teach. You know, unless you are a YouTuber, how can you say you can teach other YouTubers? But I've been doing it for a while and I'm starting to really get the hang of how to do it for a client or somebody like that. And I'm not saying I'm making money. What I'm doing mostly is I'm bartering with people. They have a need to learn some backdoor techniques about their YouTube channel and uh, that's what I did with Duncan Bravo uh, the actor from Hollywood I spent some quality time with him and I actually are gonna help him more in the future he's got a, uh, a villa here it's a, a guest home it's a rental rental property it's in Treasure Bay I'm gonna be going to Treasure Bay it's two hours on the south side of the island um, look it up you'll kind of get an idea where it's going but I haven't got any videos of it yet but when I see when I barter a deal that's what it is you become acquainted with someone that has the same purpose and desires of learning YouTube as I did and I give them a lot of tips and tricks 
And look, when you teach, you learn. And you can't teach what you don't know. And you can't give what you don't have. But I've learned these tips and tricks over many years of trial and effort. And I have basically taught myself everything I know about how to make videos. And I'm, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. One thing I need to do to upgrade uh, my system here is a tripod. And I'm going to find one in Jamaica here pretty soon. And I, I use one at these shops. they got all kinds of really cool shops. The House of Electronics is one person that I'm actually bartering with. Um, there's many people that could use this technology here in Jamaica. They have small businesses, independent people. And I encourage everybody to start a YouTube channel. If I hadn't started my YouTube channel when I did, I wouldn't be as popular as I am now. I have over a thousand one hundred videos up. So if you haven't checked my playlist out, please do. I get a lot of comments and responses about the subjects in my playlist. Well, I've been accumulating some of those playlists for years. But hey, I'm running on too long. I'm going to just say uh, I really appreciate the audience and people watching me. Leave a comment. It really helps get get me exposed and out there. Give me um, an idea of who you are in the comment. Just give me a shout out. If you got criticism about some of my controversial videos, I actually leave my controversial uh, comments up for quite a while. Actually, sometimes I never take them down. But if it's really vulgar and obscene, I, I will remove it when I see it. All right. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I appreciate it.